Hi everyone, this is Wendy. I'm on to show you a journal that I have finished. <laughs> Look at this, do you think it's finished? <laughs> um, it is made from manila folders. Um, I did put a bit of cheesecloth, che um, not, I got cheesecloth on the brain lately. I put a little bit of calico on the outside for the cover to hold the chipboard together. But this, you mightn't think so, but this is a finished journal that my sister wanted me to make for her. So I'll just read you uh, quickly what the instructions were so you know where I'm coming from with this finished journal. She says, I'd like a sample journal with just pockets and pull out paper and tuck spots and flip downs etc etc etc. I have real trouble trying to make these types of journals because I can't see it. Sounds weird but I thought the other day that nearly all of your journals have all these hidden spots. I'd rather it not be decorated. I'd rather it be not decorated so I can use it as a sample to know how to do the tuck spots and flip out thingies. <laughs> flip out thingies, I love it. I can look at it to know how it works. I'm such a visual learner and get stuck with measurements etc. So maybe out of fool's cap folders and definitely not decorated, just like a sample. And she challenged me to do it. And I thought, well, you know what I'm like with a challenge. <laughs> I cannot say no. So here it is. It, the cover is made just from some chipboard and, like, not decorated. Do you know how hard it was for me not to decorate this? And some calico. Oh, a bit of ruckus going on out outside and some calico on the sides. So here it is. It is just made from our manila folders and I'm just going to roughly quickly go through. So tuck spot, tuck spot. Now um, Deb, when you're watching, you can use, you don't have to use these pages for the first page. You can put them anywhere in your journal, okay? And then over here, uh, this tuck spot is made from, sorry, I'll just turn my phone off. Right, there we go. This tuck spot there is made from the folded over envelope which is over here so and then the envelope folds out there and I've got a double belly band here so there is one at the back there and then another one at the front and like you can decorate it how you want and you can also put on like another um, either another belly band or maybe just a, a flip out thingy <laughs> so um, it's held together with elastic so I'm thinking that she wants easy access to pull these out now this one here is just a window page and I left that blank inside because she didn't want me to decorate it I mean yeah well you know what I mean now on the back of this first I'm going to call them signatures there is a little pocket here. There is also a pocket behind that. I'll just grab another card that I can just show you with. So there is a, a pocket down behind that. And then we have another pocket in this top envelope. And then there is another larger pocket that goes all the way down behind those two pockets. And that just closes up like that. Now over here, we've got like a little tuck spot here at the front. 
and then this one here is pushed in behind this tuck spot to keep it closed and there is a pocket just on this little one here and then that can open out there and we've got a double pocket here and then that opens out again like that and there is a pocket up under there just up there and then on this side here there is another pocket just under that one there and then this is just one of those flip up corners that you can write on or decorate and there is a big pocket behind that so then that closes there, that closes there, that closes there that slips down behind that little tuck spot and you can also tuck something into that one then over here we have got a little pocket there like a um, post, box, post box you know those old ones with that little slit and there is a big pocket there and this one can actually come out because it's just held on with the belly band and when you open that there's a big pocket there and a smaller pocket there and that can just slip into there and then the back page here I've actually folded this one over so in here there is a nice big pocket and then there's another little pocket there and then another pocket just up the top here that goes all the way down as well so that's like a half page that you can make and then over here just another another couple of pockets just on there now this one here is the envelope so that can open up there and there's you can use that in there and then that opens up out that way and there's a pocket in behind the envelope and then this one here there's a nice pocket there and there's also a pocket here and that can flip up as well and then in that pocket there I've just made one of these which is like the full length belly band on that there and each side here has a pocket and then I'll just slip that one back in there so we close that up then over here we've got oh I've got like different closures on these so these ones here are eyelets um, this one like as an eyelet but I've also showed you how you can use the the brads as well so that opens up there this one here flips down and you've got like a couple of little top tuck spots or top pockets just there then there's one here on the side and there's one there at the back then you can open that up there and it is like a, a folder and you can just do your decoration down there so that's another one these are like um, like I could have gone on and on and on just with all the different variations that you can do but these are like some of the main ones that I've learnt over my years from other people on YouTube uh, for your junk journals this one here is the um, the slide so you've got you've got like a belly band here and that piece there can slide over 
so you'd like decorate that base one first before you actually put this one on and this slider it can actually be longer um, if you wanted it you know a bit longer down here but I think that one's pretty cool I learnt that one from Eva from Bohemian Crafting okay and then over here there is just like a window pocket and I've just put that in there and I've just put in a couple of my uh, the templates that I use for the um, for my tags I can't remember what they're actually called now now this one opens up at the top and at the bottom so I'll go down the bottom first and down the bottom there is a pocket there and I've just kind of like made up a little notebook I think I just got sick of seeing the the cream colored manila, manila folder so I put some white in there <laughs> it was so hard not to decorate um, and then there's another little pocket there then that one flips up and then this one here flips up at the top and I have got a little triangle pocket there a side pocket and that one opens up out there and then there's another couple of pockets on this side here plus the big pocket here at the back okay and then that one just closes back down there and on some of the tags I put um, I just put a bit of the calico so I think she's going to be happy with it and then this one here opens up and that is like a top flip that you can flip up from your page then over here there's just like a little arrow thing and I've got a pocket there and a pocket over here and then just below the window um, the half window page I've got like another little belly band and just like a little tuck spot I like to when I do my belly bands I like to put like a little um, like a tuck spot at the bottom so that that tag won't slip all the way through the belly bands and then that closes up and then that just slides up around there now this one here we've got and here I've just done a little bit of um, decorative cutting like the scalloped edge so there's a pocket here and a pocket there and then there's a bigger pocket on each one of these this is like a separate flip out uh, I'll just move this, it's a bit hard to try and manoeuvre this in between my tripod legs and I've got a pocket there and I've just cut some hearts out of there so you know just another bit of inspiration um, so there's a long pocket there and then there's just a side pocket here on that one and come back this way and oh, I hope you can see this all right it just looks all cream to me <laughs> okay so this page here I have um, I've actually sewn the one two three tier pocket so there's pockets in each of those levels there and I left that opened at the back and at the back I just put in another one of these it's like a really large um, notebook tag kind of thing so you can I've got some writing paper there and then there's like a pocket up the top there and then that just slip folds down and we have a pocket there and then a little side belly band with a couple of tags in it and that just goes in there and then those two just fold over like that then this one here is just tied with a little bit of um, 
string and this folds out that folds out like that so you could decorate both sides I think the hardest part in doing these is you have to pre-think what you want to do um, because if you just done that and glued it down and you hadn't glued something to hold it shut it kind of like defeats the purpose so you've kind of like got to think a step ahead um, and think okay I need some kind of closure on it so the closure has got to go down first and then you stick um, the the decorative piece on. Now this one here I've got the little closure thing here at the bottom and you need to make sure that your closures are thick enough to hold whatever you want to hold down down. Okay so here we've got a nice big side pocket there and another pocket just in there behind that one then this one lifts up and I've made sort of like a reverse waterfall I've got the big one going to smaller instead of the smaller going to the bigger so and like when you do that you can just reverse this this, this style that I've done so this one here has got two pockets up the top there then the next one has two pockets up the top and as it gets smaller I've got one pocket there plus a side pocket on that one just for a bit of um, a bit of variety and then the last one also has the big pocket there and then the side pocket here as well and then underneath that I've just put a big pocket with another another um, board on it, uh, another tag tag on it, or journaling card, whatever. Then over here, we're getting to the end. <laughs> um, this is just a flip out there, and here I've done one of those pull up tags that won't go out any further out the page and when I was doing this um, I was thinking oh how can I show it to her um, so to, to know how to do it so that it doesn't go pull, pull out of the page so right down the bottom here I actually cut a rectangle and, and cut it open so that she can see uh, the way it's been cut so that when you pull it up this this part here stops it from going out the top any further so I left that kind of like open so she gets the idea and then this one here I have this tag sits in this quarter of a circle and it actually holds closed this flap here so I pull that out there and then open up this, it's like a double folded flap and I've just put a belly band on each of those pages with a little tuck spot down the bottom and then these ones here, just another way to do some pockets, it's like the curved arches so there's one one tuck, big tuck spot there then there is another tuck spot in front of that one and then I just close that up and just place that tag there so that holds that flap closed and the very last page on this one here I've just showed her how you can um, do different types of belly bands like that's from an angled belly band and this one here is a little tuck spot up there and I just made one of those little window 
uh, notebooks and then this one here opens up out like this and it's got three pockets just on the inside there so that's it my dear sister <laughs> um, she I did when I got halfway through it I still had a couple more pages to do because she wanted about 10 pages of just showing her how I've done some things and when I got halfway through um, I did a quick video to show her if I was on the right track and she was over the moon so um, that's the it's it's pretty heavy with all that manila folder in it um, well I think it is and I've just put um, the elastic through as if I was making uh, traveler's notebook style okay so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed and um, I'm pretty sure my sister's going to love this uh, it's exactly what she asked for and I had such a hard time just not decorating it and yeah they're just I'd say they're the main ideas that I had in my head to show her and they really can be adapted to um, to anything so you know like this slip pocket here could actually be placed on another belly band so that you could have uh, where is one of those belly bands back here somewhere yeah so you've got like your, your belly band here and this front one you could actually put one of those slide um, slide pockets oh look see that can be used as a pocket too just in there or as another belly band tuck spot or whatever but yeah it's like my main ideas that I thought would help her so I think she's gonna like it so I'd be interested to know if you um, like it too I did start another one here for myself but just seeing all that manila all that cream colored manila folder and not decorating it I thought oh this is driving me batty <laughs> Okay, that's it guys. I hope you like it. Something really different, uh, really different. I wouldn't, um, I call it finished, but really, it's not finished. Not finished at all. Okay, that's it. Let me know what you think, guys. Um, and I will catch you later. You all have a great day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Bye-bye.